Hey, Earth Science, and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love reading for the 17th of March. Happy St. Patrick's Day for all of those of you who are going green today. All right, let's see what our Earth Science Taurus for Capricorn in that order have for Sunday, March 17th. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in that order. All right, guys. Taurus, you guys have temperance. Beautiful, beautiful energy. Finding some healing, finding some balance. Virgos, you have the Nine of Swords. And Cappies, you have the King of Wands. Your guys' bottom of the deck and shared energy is the Fool in Reverse. Clarified by the Six of Wands in Reverse. And the Two of Pentacles. Your guys' foundation is Death. But the beautiful thing after the death is a new beginning. So you guys um, could be experiencing you or your partners going through um, major transformations, um, really purging out energy. Um, you guys could be purging out somebody in your life. Uh, with your guys' overarching energy being the fool in reverse, you're not having the courage to take that leap of faith. Um, you need to have faith in yourself and um, allow your journey to move forward so you don't have to repeat karmic lessons. So let's see what Taurus males have for temperance. Taurus males. The tower. Taurus females. What does Taurus females have temperance? The King of Cups in Reverse. Okay. So we will start with our Taurus males. So you're really um, needing to uh, find some healing after this tower moment. Um, there is going to be an emotional shakeup in your life. Um, whether you are the one that's uh, giving it or receiving it, um, there is going to need, there is a need for healing and there's a need for you to be patient within yourself patient within the journey the path um you know we can't skip steps and and fix everything overnight so be patient with yourself um the tower had to happen in order to move you into this beautiful energy of the temperance this self-healing self-respect self um serving just being able to be connected and have patience. Um, you're not getting this new beginning just yet. You're not getting that uh, fresh start. You could be, uh, yeah, you could be feeling really defeated, um, really like somebody, um, for this group of you Taurus males, I'm seeing somebody left you um, and it's causing this tower moment um, and you're needing to heal from that. Once you heal from this tower moment, this breakup already happened as of recently. But after you heal and find balance again, that is when you will get this new beginning. Um, because right now you are very out of balance. Uh, you're juggling everything in your life, trying not to let the ball drop anywhere. Um, you're in very rough waters emotionally um, and you just don't know how much more you can take this tower moment really knocked you to your knees making you feel really really unsuccessful really defeated um now is the time for your spiritual rebirth this is a huge transformation for you taurus males that is this tower is bringing on this transformation but once you get through this transformation you will have your soulmate and you will have a new beginning so um it's time to find some balance and um heal and then you will get your new beginning and then it will find success. But you need to go through this transformation from this tower moment um, in order to get that new beginning. Taurus females, um, pretty much the same for you. You are um, needing to heal over somebody who was very emotionally uh, manipulative towards you, um, almost borderline emotionally abusive. This person was very hot and cold in your life, in and out. Uh, one day they wanted to be with you, the next day they didn't. Just really back and forth, in and out, up and down. Um, this person was juggling their emotions because they didn't know what they wanted, which caused your emotions to be in havoc because you would believe them and then you would trust them and then and just it got really ugly for some of you um, feeling very emotionally damaged right now due to this emotional manipulation, due to this uh, 
emotional betrayal. And it's just calling for you to have um, patience with yourself once again and allow that heart to heal. You have um, a very broken heart right now over this um, King of Cups. You've been dealing with this for a while, for a long time. Um, this person that is very emotionally, they just, they're very good with their words and they do what they want. And then they think that, it's like, what's that saying? Um, it's easier to ask for forgiveness and permission. That's like this card. And um, they did a lot of hurt into your heart. So it's time for you to um, allow this death uh, pro process, allow yourself to cocoon, allow yourself to heal and purge out that relationship that did this to you, purge out that um, person that treated you like this. Um, so you can have your new beginning with that ace of cups. And that is when you as well will get that, uh, brand new start slate wiped clean with somebody that won't make you feel like this with somebody that won't make you feel like they look down on you or they belittle you or your feelings don't matter, or, um, they can juggle you and somebody else. And you're just going to have to put up with it. Um, it's time to heal from that. It's time to purge from that so you can have your new beginning, Taurus females, because it's here, but you only get that after you go through the transformation, um, coming out as your, the beautiful butterfly. But, um, so both Taurus male and females need to heal and go through this, this death process in order to get this new beginning, this, this fresh start where you won't feel defeated and beat down or your energies being juggled around. So Virgos, you're stressing out, you're losing sleep, you're worried about something, you uh, can't concentrate, you possibly Tor or Virgos are going through the death uh, process right now. Um, oops. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. So, okay. Why is the Nine of Swords here for Virgo males? And Virgo females. Thank you. Okay. So, Virgo males, you're really stressing out. You're really... Uh, you really don't know what to do next. You're losing sleep over somebody uh, that you want to offer your cup to or somebody that is not offering their cup to you. Um, you're, you're not taking a leap of faith um, or they aren't. Hold on. Let me, let me just get my messages just a second. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, Virgos, you, Virgo males. You um, are fearing this transformation that you need to go through. You need to go through this transformation to uh, purge out and get rid of all of the excess in your life that is not for your greatest good. You have a lot of stress over somebody of your past. This is somebody at one point in time that you thought you were going to have a new beginning with, um, and it just didn't happen. It couldn't get off the ground. It it. You couldn't find success in that because you had an extra person in the connection or they did. Um, but you're really stressing out because you feel the connection is lost. I'm hearing lost connection. So you're really stressing out because you didn't offer this person the cup. You could have possibly offered it to somebody else. Um because you thought the other person would bring you stability. You thought the other person could bring you uh, balance financially. Um, even though your emotions were not in it, you still um, you still chose the person who you felt was more financially going to keep you stable or balanced. Um, and you're really feeling like this is was not the right choice. You're feeling um, like you made a mistake, and now you're worried this person won't give you a new beginning, won't um, take a leap of faith with you, won't trust you. You're really stressing out about it because you feel you offered the cup to the wrong person. Um, yeah, but... You have to go through this transformation. You have to worry about you right now, and then you will get this new beginning. Um with the person who the with the person you chose to 
choose to, because with this death card, you will purge out the energy that is not right for you. Whether that's the person you picked the first time or the person you wished you would have picked, the right one will exit your life because the universe will help you purge out that negative, or not negative energy, but that energy that doesn't serve your highest good. But you're really stressing out about it because you feel this person moved on. Um, they could possibly be with somebody else. Um, Virgo females, you are really stressing out about this as well um, because... Uh, this is just so burdensome for you with the Ten of Wands. You're coming to the end of the cycle with a relationship with somebody that didn't grow with you. Um, with the Empress in reverse, you could have been a mistress to somebody. Um, you could have been a third party. Um, with it being in reverse as well, it's just not able to get this relationship to the creation that you wanted. To get it be able to create the life that you wanted with this person. And it's becoming more burdensome than it is, um, than it's worth it. And you're really stressing out about, you know, why this isn't moving in the direction you wanted it to. Why isn't things going as planned? Why am I feeling like I'm carrying the weight of the world and this person doesn't even care that it's not working out? Um, and you're feeling very back and forth about this connection. You're stressing out whether or not to drop it or to um, keep trying, uh, especially if you were the third party. Um, it's calling for you to uh, purge that third party energy, get rid of it, move forward, lay these burdens down, let the stress, let the anxiety go, go through this uh, transformation, the spiritual rebirth, because on the other side of that, Virgo females, is a new beginning in love, not with the person that put you in this third party situation it is with somebody completely new where you will have truly a fresh slate a new beginning and somebody that will bring balance to your life instead of this chaos and this hurt all right capricorns you guys are looking good sitting there um you guys are really taking action taking charge uh really um following your heart not letting what anybody else uh sway you in any direction oops why is the king of wands here for capricorn males and capricorn females all right so, um, Capricorn males, like I was saying, you're just looking really good. You're, you're following your heart. You're taking action. You're, you're following your passion. You're moving in the direction of the person that you truly want a new beginning with. You embrace this death process. You took it by both hands and you are really allowing yourself to transform your life, to morph into what it is that it's meant to be. And you're sitting very comfortable there on the crown because you know, you have the faith you've been awakened, enlightened during this death process by the universe that of the promise of this ace of cups, you know, it's coming, you know, it's going to be there for you as soon as both of you are meant or in the path that it's meant to be in the past. You haven't, you haven't been able to give this relationship a second chance because people were standing in your way. Um, but you're both finding balance. You're both um, braving the rough waters to get to each other. And Capricorn males with the fool and the upright, you are taking a leap of faith with somebody. You are getting a second chance with somebody. You are getting this new love because you did go through this death process and allow that transformation to um, make you the person you're meant to be. And you're looking pretty damn good. All right, Capricorn females, you, however, are feeling trapped by a uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius male. Um, you feel stuck. You feel like this situation, like this person, you could also be a third party. I'm seeing this two different ways for you guys. You could be a third party to this fire sign. And there, you feel trapped by the situation because they're not giving you that chance that they said they were going to give you. They're not giving you that relationship. And they seem like they don't even care. They're just sitting there enjoying their life, looking around, um, wondering what your deal is, why you're so upset. What, what's the big deal? Um, so you're really feeling stuck by this because you want your new beginning. Um, but it's not here, even though they promised you it would be, you're feeling like this is going nowhere and you really have your emotions in up and down. They're like, your emotions are in chaos and all the while you're sitting here hurting and it seems like your person doesn't care. 
Now, for another group of you, um, you are meeting a fire sign. You are meeting a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, and they are very well very well put together, very grounded, great job, um, very passionate, very loving, very considerate, um, would do anything for you. And you are feeling stuck in a relationship that you are already in. You're wanting to move forward towards this relationship. Um, Capricorn females, but you can't take that leap of faith just yet. You can't give that person this King of Wands, this, um, new beginning or this beginning period. You can't give them this, uh, relationship just yet because you feel you're trapped in a committed relationship already. Um, you're wanting to give this to them. You're wanting to have this with this fire sign. Um, but it just can't happen yet because you have to figure out your own deal. You have to, um, get rid of and purge a relationship that is making you feel trapped. So um, you are being encouraged to embrace this transformation, to do what you have to do to get out of this stuck feeling. Because when you get out of this stuck relationship, you have a promise of a new beginning as well um, with somebody who is a very good match for you. Um, but you have to allow that transformation to happen before you get this new beginning. You have to get rid of the relationship that is not making you happy, that's making you feel defeated and belittled, and balance out your energy, um, purging the energy of one so you can uh, balance out and give this new beginning to this person that you have just met. I do not feel you have actually been with this person yet. You're just very... And, you know, you you just met them and really want to be with them. Or if you have uh, created a third-party situation, it is very new. This hasn't been going on very long. But there is a promise of a new beginning for all of you guys. You just have to go through these transformations, earth signs. Allow the things out of your life that do not serve you. Um, get out of unhappy relationships. Get out of loveless marriages. Um, and em embrace that change and face the fear. And you'll be well rewarded with an abundance in love and happiness, whether that be by yourself or with somebody new down the road. But it's going to be better than being in these uh, relationships that are not um, for your best or greatest good. All right, let's see what we have for our earth signs for some advice for Sunday the 17th. All right. Stay focused and hold the course. So this is just saying... Um, yeah, your bottom of the deck is narrow pathway. Tread thoughtfully. So tread thoughtfully. Do not hurt the people that you are walking away from. Um, you know, be compassionate about it, but stay focused, hold the course, know where it is that you want to end up. Where is your destination point? Where are you wanting to achieve or what are you wanting to achieve in this life? Where are you wanting to end up? What are your goals? If the person that you are currently with does not match that same, um, future outlook, that's those same goals, that same destination, then stay focused, hold the course and move in your own direction. Move towards your destiny. Move in the direction that you want to create your life. Whatever it is that you are trying to do, wherever it is you're trying to get to, whatever your destination is, hold the course no matter what. If the person you're with is not on the same course as you, it's time to walk away and allow that transformation. If they are, then enjoy the journey together. Enjoy each other and um, stay focused because your dreams are at the, your dreams are out there. You just got to go get them, and uh, you got to move in order for that to happen. So move in the direction of your dreams and go get them. Earth signs. I send you all love, light, and God bless.